We tear down a lot of phones around here, and if you've been paying attention, you might have noticed a trend, a lot of low repairability scores. So that might have you thinking, what does it take to get a high score? Well, today we're gonna answer that question while tearing down the LG G5. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit. The last LG phone we tore down was the G4, and when we took it apart, we loved it for being one of the last flagship phones that had a removable battery. Well, thankfully, the removable battery remains. With just a press of a handy button, the battery slides right out. This is a 3.85 volt, 10.8 watt hour, 2800 milliamp hour battery that just barely edges out the iPhone 6S Plus's 2750 milliamp hour battery. Detaching the battery from the module requires a pretty serious tug, making it something you wouldn't do by accident. Picking apart the module reveals some glue, screws, and a ton of goodies to peruse. In addition to making USB port replacements easier than ever, the tiny battery module also contains a speaker, some antennas, and lots of spring contacts. The unibody design of the G5 gave us some concern as they can frequently use massive amounts of adhesive to hold components together. But inspecting the bottom of the display reveals two Phillips screws and some pryable clips securing the display to the unibody frame. This display is a 5.3-inch Quad HD IPS multi-touch display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and a pixel density of 554 pixels per inch. With the display out of the way, we get a better look at the removable battery's mechanical shock absorber. This springy mechanical doodad helps the G5's battery slide perfectly into place. Next out were the cameras. First, the 8-megapixel front-facing camera, and then the two rear-facing cameras. The big one is the primary 16 megapixel rear camera with extra girth to support optical image stabilization. And the smaller one is the 8 megapixel rear camera with a wide angle lens. All the cameras were straightforward to remove and since they were individual parts, extremely modular. Finally, we take out the motherboard and get a better look at all those chips. We identify four gigabytes of Samsung LPDDR4 RAM with the quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 system on chip layered beneath. If you wanna see the full list of chips we found, head over to our teardown at ifixit.com. We've come to the end of our teardown and now we turn our thoughts towards repairability. How did the LG G5 score? It got an eight out of 10. So what made the LG G5 score so well? The user removable slide out battery is a huge boon to the phone's lifespan. No glue and few screws make for a relatively simple opening procedure. Standard Phillips double zero screws means the right tool is probably already in your toolbox. Many components are modular, making for easier, cheaper part replacement. Unfortunately, the battery module covers are glued on, making repairs a bit sticky, but the module itself greatly simplifies the process of replacing a faulty USB port. And on the downside, the fused display assembly will need to be replaced if the LCD or glass breaks, increasing costs. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high-quality images and some awesome x-rays from our friends at Creative Electron, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.